Okay, I've sussed it out now, but I'm no good at this video editing lark. So this is going to be in three parts, but then if it's good enough for Rado, it's good enough for me. So, okay, let's start. If you just, if I just pan back, you can see this is absolutely bloody huge. No wonder it took me an hour. Anyway, some of the bits are a bit wobbly, but let's have a closer look at this. I'm going to just uh, do a weird orientation thing so we can take a closer look. So there we go. Look, the detail on this is quite stunning, actually. Um, you can see here we've got um, some rocks down by the sea. And look, there's even a little boat, which is rather... Ah, and see now, this I thought was a centaur, but it's not actually, is it? You can see it's actually two people, one riding pillion on the back of the motorbike. So that's... Um, but frankly, that's not right, is it? Because that's a motor-powered vehicle, and that's a human pedal. I mean, unless he's a bionic creature of some kind, that's it's not going to work, is it? I mean, this is... Ridiculous. I see. Beware of the bull. Oh yes. Well, if they if they just read the sign, then they'd have known, wouldn't they? Let's have a closer look. So, oh dear, that's not going to end well. Oh there, there's the hippie guy again. Let's see what's happening over here. There we go. Typical British rail employee with his big mug of cocoa and his big syringe full of crack cocaines. Uh, somebody watching there from the window. Yeah, that's uh, looks like me. That's a young lad. In fact, that could actually be me. Yeah, if I had lived next to a railway, which I didn't, um, but it could be, it could be me. Busy people, yeah, there we go, some dogs, oh yeah, the hands, I'm not going to talk about those. What, what is this, conducting medical experiments on the train? What, what lunacy is this? Okay, let's be moving along, nothing to see here, they're chatting away, there's a snake charmer, there's a, oh goodness me, are they playing chess? Oh, somebody waving. It's always lovely when somebody waves from a train, isn't it? Hello to you too. Oh, oh, oh I <laughs> hope that's new, too, not too hot, otherwise there's going to be litigation. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, hang on a sec. This is going to fall off the end of the table if I'm not careful. Let's have a beer. Let's, uh, eating some food. Uh, yes, some foreign dignitaries. A lady taking her aged grandparents out for lunch, maybe. Oh, watch out with that baby. Don't do a Michael Jackson. We'll have none of that nonsense here. Uh, a man on a tractor. Bloody hell, he's chasing the copper. What a... This is insane. Okay, let's carry on. Oh, looks like that horse has run into the wall. More people playing games. There's a clown waving to the window. And that, that man there looks looks trapped. Perhaps it's one of those Agatha Christie-like murders. He's calling for help. It seems to be Diana Ross. And that's just not on, is it? That kind of voyeurism is disgusting. And oh dear... I think we can see what's happened there. Not only is that person conducting illegal fox hunting, but they've ridden through the, the middle of that rather delightful looking cake. Oh dear, well, I'm glad I did it. I'm glad I did it. Uh, it did take me a little bit longer than I expected, but I think it was worth it. Um, as you can see, it's quite a delightful thing. It's certainly showing its age a bit. It's a bit raggedy around the edges, but um, there we go. And in fact, you can tell it's a bit of fun because the train is actually actually working. There you go. Well, thank you very much for watching me unboxing this intercity train jigsaw. What a marvellous find. I do love Essenspiel.